Okay, you guys. Hey, y'all. Long time no see. Long time no see. I'm really happy to be back and to get back into my channel. Honestly, I was having a spiritual awakening. I was in no position to be making YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm just happy that God just, just worked this out the way that he's been trying to work this out for me. Um, so now that I am wearing the full armor of God, I am very, very, I'm much more qualified to reveal the kingdom of darkness, which is Satan worship, satanic things happening. They're happening all around us. And as a K-pop fan, I really want to reveal, well, I really want to reveal to all of y'all the truth about what is happening in the industry. So I'm going to open up with a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Whoever is watching this video, the Holy Spirit is protecting you from any dark, devil, and demonic entities. And Jesus is looking out for you because the devil hates, the devil absolutely hates, when his cover is blown so understand that when you start to look into the occult when you start to look into satanism something that i had to learn the very very hard way is that if you are not wearing the armor of god your spirit is easily corrupted okay so i have to open up a prayer anytime i do this like to god be the glory so also do y'all like this wig i just did not feel like doing my hair today and I feel like it's giving. I like was not, I did not feel like bunning the hair. Like if I get really close, y'all can see how like hood it looks. But, <laughs> but you know what? If someone can tell I'm wearing a wig, then they can tell I'm wearing a wig. Like I'm like over blending wigs. Like I'm just over that. Um, so yeah, I moved to my grandma's place by the way. So it's like completely different setup. Well, I didn't move. I just have a second room. So I just like live at my parents' house and my grandparents' house. And I'm not gonna move till I get married. I don't care what nobody says. Anyways, I'm ranting. Okay, so let's get into this Taman Advice decode. Now, we're going to do a decode and a symbolism um, kind of breakdown as to what's going on here. And I have a blind item to show y'all, something that I just found out, which really does confirm, confirm my um my intuition my intuitive guesses that i've been saying in the past about teaming okay so we open up he already looks possessed from the back like can we just clock that he already looks possessed from the back here let me scoot over mm. he already looks possessed from the back like what even is that okay now see what happens when you are conjuring demons and do not think that demons are not real because they are. Here are some clips. I'm schizophrenic. Off of my life. Off of my life. I break. Oh. Who are you? So let's throw it out the window there's no place for that here okay this is not the channel if you want to go if you want to go somewhere where they're going to talk about oh that was not real things not wrong angels aren't real afterlife's not real get out of here this is not the channel for you baby so he already looks possessed from the back but you see what happens is when when you have when you are um demonically possessed and it's a certain kind of demon um you like ooze black goo out of your extremities like black goo comes out of you and that's why like if y'all go back to like oh, that one black pink music video and like rose 
she has like black goo all over her that's usually a sign of demonic possession or if you see like black goo on the walls that's usually a sign of like some kind of poltergeist or something like that so when you see these black markings on Taman's back like that that's usually what that represents and already off the very top I just noticed black and white symbolism black and white symbolism black and white symbolism and I'm just gonna speak I'm just gonna speak like this is your first time learning this stuff black and white symbolism is the symbol that's used in the Freemason temples and mind you Freemasonry is a front for Satanism and Satanists people who follow Lucifer they use black and white dualistic symbolism in their rituals. The black represents the dark, the light represents the light. Satanists, they love doing evil behind closed doors and on the outside, they look like perfect, you know? So that's, that's like what that means. Like very, very, very shorthand of what that means, okay? I can, if, if y'all want me to make a video of like a whole huge, like, symbol by symbol breakdown like a deep deep breakdown of every single symbol i can show you um so yeah off the top and you know piano black and white all that kinds of stuff um we see the hands with the black goo it's like you know it's just sad it's just so sad um you know the mask more black and white more black and white the mask representing slavery okay um and what I've just been noticed they've been pushing with him. Like, is he not possessed here, dude? Come on. Um, and he has that black and white Masonic checkers of the secret society that he's wearing. More black and white, more black and white. What I've been noticing they've been doing so much with him in is they've really been like, and honestly, it's kind of a serve. Like, I actually love the song. <laughs> but they've been pushing this like, androgyny kind of persona for him and honestly I really believe it is because he is like a sex slave and like they like like he gets passed around a lot and like they really like the in terms of sex slavery they like androgyny because that means that you can kind of like switch up feminine and masculine roles like in the bedroom you know what i'm saying like during your sex rituals so i've i, I just i just noticed that when someone is like an mk ultra slave or a satanic slave they really like push this like androgyny thing on them and that's often because like they're they're like <laughs> taken advantage of by like a lot of men so I don't know it's sad it's really sad i have more black and white this is just this is just abysmal just a side note i don't know what that is i don't know what i'm looking at that's just ugly i don't like that i don't like that i think that might be as bad as satanism no i'm kidding that's not as bad as satanism it's pretty bad though um you know i just to see so much black and white like when i first watched this like black and white fire like what even is going on here you guys like in terms of symbolism it's extremely blatant it's like black and white the entire time he looks possessed he's been looking possessed pretty much for like three comebacks in a row he's just looked straight up possessed you guys like oh, it's just so sad it's so 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 sad right there let's clock that that represented dissociation dissociation of an mk ultra slave um also demonic possession these like flashing kind of like looks and stuff like that yeah that's yeah it's really sad so then so then it's not a surprise that it, we have the light kind of thing and then he has those flashes that demonic possession then all of a sudden we're in a red room sorry if it's like kind of loud there's like so many noises over here um, you know, we have like that whitish area and then we go to the flashing, like the demonic dissociation and then all of a sudden we're in a red room. It represents like, it represents Taman giving into 
his demonic entity and just becoming fully possessed, his multiple personalities, that kinds of stuff, okay? So, yep, black and white, black and white, not surprising. They did this little boy so wrong, y'all. They did him so wrong. He's so talented, they did him so wrong. I can't. Like he's heck of good. Oh, y'all see that? Y'all clock that? Let me go back. That was one eye symbolism, okay? Let's look at it again. Oh, oh, that's one eye symbolism. When when they just highlight that eye, okay? And I, if you don't know what that is, go back and watch my vid other videos. Like, please, <laughs> please just go watch my other videos. You can like just Google vigilant citizen, type in one eye symbolism if you want to understand what that means yep 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 it's just so sad he's so good though <laughs> he's so good y'all hmm. hmm yeah when you see like when you see multiples like this like multiples in a room usually it represents mk ultra multi like multiple personalities you know trauma based trauma based splitting of the tra personalities that's usually what that is um it's very very pervasive once you have the eyes to see it you cannot stop seeing it like i see it all the time um i can't remember what else i saw in this i have watched it like for the first time and i had seen just so many symbols so much symbolism it's like it really is just straight up demonic you guys like he is just so He's under so much control right now and um you know we have that black goo again like on his face um yeah it, it's just so sad <laughs> like you guys it's so sad oh my goodness like do people not watch this and they don't see that he's like calling out for help like do the do people like do people really like people are really delusional like people are so delusional like they don't they don't see like they see this and they don't actually see anything like they don't see anything and like i just watch this and it just looks like a man crying out for help like it just looks like a man who's being tortured almost on a daily basis like you see the shattering of the glass here shouting of the glass is also symbolism for mk ultra mind control like they shatter your personality into a ton of different personalities that's what shattered glass mirrors shattered mirrors all of that represents it's about taking your soul and splitting it through trauma and attaching each of those split personalities to demons like that's what it is it is demonic in nature and it is very easy to do that to a child when you have a child they are easily impressionable easily traumatized easily controlled and so when you put them under mk ultra it sticks and you have to think about it taman has been in this industry for a very 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 long time at a very vulnerable age he didn't join when he was 20 or 21 he joined when he was a pre-adolescent He, he joined before he even hit puberty, okay? So you have to think about what he's been through. Like, if, if you don't understand, if there is fame, desperation, and children, there are vipers, vipers taking advantage of those children. That is a fail, that is a fail-safe formula for people to take advantage of children period period it's happened every single time you have those three factors okay so if you are naive enough to think if you are naive enough to think that a company that recruits young small children who are desperate to be famous and would do anything to be famous that that company is not doing anything or is not taking advantage of any of those kids ever at all you're living in a fantasy land and i actually think you're in denial and satan has your mind because you don't you really just have no grasp on what the truth is and that's the truth and the reason why this things like this are important it's so that 
every single one of you that wished you were famous in the k-pop industry you realize you dodged a bullet and any kid that watches this any young person that watches this any young person that hears this maybe i will make a difference and maybe that person won't go audition for jyp won't go audition for sm okay because fame is not worth it fame has never been worth it to be a somebody to a bunch of nobodies to be a somebody to a bunch of people you don't even know anyways so that's a shattered glass symbolism okay and um levitation levitation also a sign of demonic possession with red in the background representing hell like do we not do people not see this people don't see it they obviously don't see it. a lot of people don't see it you know the enemy has hold of many people's minds just people just don't see this stuff no more or ever um but yeah levitation black and white symbolism like it's just so it's just so obvious to me the the masonic checkers okay <sighs> oh it's just such a shame and i'm not talking about i'm not talking about taman that's not the shame the shame is that everyone is just so spiritually sedated that they don't see this and that they don't like like people don't see like how can you not see evil being exposed and not feel extremely passionate about continuing to expose that how can you see someone like getting hurt or abused by the industry and not talk about it with fire and passion in your chest how do you not talk about this stuff without conviction it's sick it's sick people people should be crying for not crying you should be sad that you are so detached from your soul that you have no empathy for others especially for other spirits okay so androgyny agenda once again because you know rich men in power just like like they love like a mask like like when, when people when when a rich man wants to take adv advantage of like another man and like basically make them their sex slave they like to i don't know how to describe it any more than i've already said um but yeah it's just really sad it's so sad yeah black goo rep like the black goo representation out the eyes all that kinds of stuff <sighs> tragic it's so tragic i would i would also say the spider web symbolism like kind of like i've seen that a couple of times it represents like oh more goo symbolism it represents like being like tangled in like a deep web that you can't get out of um so yeah that's that on our deck um so let me show y'all something that i found that i think is about taming okay so this is a blind item from november 14th of 2020 on crazy days and nights so i'm not saying this is taming but the shoe fits so it might be him y'all okay so blind item number six this back in the day a-list k-pop boy bander is one named and now solo he is still a-list as a solo artist he has been in the news the past couple of weeks and reminded me of a story that when he first made the cut to be in a boy band it was because he didn't complain when he was passed around by some male executives at the entertainment conglomerate like a young guy at a brian singer party so the reason why i think this is came in is because first it says this back in the day a-list k-pop boy bander back in the day that means like at least a like at least a couple generations of k-pop ago right what shiny came out back in the day like they are officially a back in the day group <laughs> i know like time just flies but they are officially a back in the day group okay a-list k-pop boy bander is one named and now solo he is a one named artist just tame in i can't really think of that many other one named um 
artists that were from an old k-pop band who are now solo and also a-list Taemin is the only one i can think of i thought maybe kai i thought maybe kai but i really wouldn't call that a back in the day k-pop group so it could be kai it could be kai um either way the spine is still really sad um but yeah when they first made the cut to be in the boy band it's because they didn't complain when they were passed around by some male executives at the you know sm or white whatever whoever this is at like the entertainment party like a brian singer party if y'all don't know who brian singer is um yeah he's the prolific pedophile who did all those marvel movies who was having those parties where he literally just like um sodomized children and abused children and everyone just abused children at the parties it was like a giant child rape party hell so so um so yeah i i really have i really in my spirit believe this is taming um and and remind and to mind you it says first made the cut so yes he is very talented but his first cut in is really because he was quiet and he was easily controllable and it just goes back to the people that make it in the industry are the ones that compromise their soul the most and you know you cannot blame Tammy. he was a kid he was a kid when he got into the industry and a lot of korea is just so naive they just think that i'm gonna let my kid not live with me with a bunch of strangers and they're 12 years old and my kid's gonna be okay like no 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 <laughs> no um and so you know i don't want anyone to think that if they're not some k-pop group or they didn't make some kind of cut that they missed out on something because you didn't you didn't miss out on anything these people they are hurting and they are slaves and they are very 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 entrenched in the occult um and so taemin if you're watching this i really just want to let you know that anyone's soul can be saved no one can sell their soul because god owns every single soul and the devil is a liar the devil is a liar anyone can be saved anyone can be saved even the worst person can be saved if you turn to god call out for jesus's name repent god will protect you god will protect you god will protect you and will protect you from any persecution that you face so if you turn to him and turn away from the fame and the torture i promise you there is a more beautiful life on the other side a life of peace and even if the worst happens to you you will find rest in god's kingdom and you know that's what a lot of people don't understand about my videos they think that i think that these people are damned and now after going on my spiritual journey like i really understand anyone can be saved and like anyone like really god loves everyone and especially taming every single person every single person that's watching this understand that god loves you and god is looking out for you okay but imagine it this way imagine it this way would you give anything to a stranger would you give your all to a stranger would you give your most beautiful gifts to a stranger how is God going to help you? How is God going to work through your life if you don't know him, if he doesn't know you? Okay? A lot of people, they don't have a relationship with God. And so their spirits are weak and they're easily corruptible. And Taemin, when he was a kid, you know, who taught him about God? Who taught him Who taught him that his soul is more valuable than any fame? And God's wisdom is more valuable than gold. Right? No one told him that. No one told him that. And so I'm... I'm here telling y'all, seek a relationship with God because if you were like me and you like you love these topics of the truth and the occult and these evil things that are working around us, okay, you need to be fully armored in like like I'm telling y'all, like I'll tell you in another video, but God gave me the craziest dream. Like he showed me what he saved me from, you guys. He showed me what, what he saved me from. I literally think that I would have been like dem like demonically tortured if I had not turned to him. So, so 
you know, tame in, you know, I send you a prayer. The Holy Spirit is going to work through you and is going to show you the love that lies in God's heart for you. And salvation can be had for you if you live in the truth. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's save these people. Let's save these people. Let's save these people. Okay, please, please send Taman all your love. He needs it so bad right now. Like this is um this is a man that's been abused, used, and tortured. Okay, so yeah, that was really me on my high horse. Um, but you know, I'm just very fired up for God. Like I literally cannot stop talking about it. <laughs> I cannot stop talking about the cat. He literally he saved my life. Yeah. Um, I am going to go like kind of in another direction with my channel. I'm just going to talk about like. Uh, well, I'm gonna like talk about like demons and how to protect yourself from demons um, The power of prayer more exposing more k-pop. I have a lot more blind items to get to y'all um, A lot more blind items to expose for y'all about the k-pop industry a lot of tea to be spilled So please follow my channel like it. I'm about to quit my job <laughs> Or I'm about to quit my job that like drains me. So I'm definitely going to be like posting so, so, so much more. I can't wait. And, um, and yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. I'm so happy. I'm in such high spirits, you guys. Like, wow. Like, I'm just like, it feels so, 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 so good. So blessings, blessings to anyone watching this video. Literally, if you're watching this video, that is not a coincidence. And I am sending you this message right now god is going to work through your life god is going to work through your life and i know the world is very very dark right now but keep your eyes on god he's going to give y'all so many blessings y'all don't even know like i'm so excited for my future so yes that's all i will see y'all next time put your request for any other videos you want me to decode about k-pop and stuff like that and i will catch y'all on the flippity block